The Philippines Department of National Defense DND, was reported to have awarded a tender for the construction and delivery of two new landing platform docks LPD, for the Philippine Navy PN, to Indonesian state-owned shipbuilder Point Pal Prasera. Aside from Point Pal, other shipbuilders competing for the project include South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI, India's Larsen & Torbro L&T, and a joint venture of local shipbuilder Megaship Builders and Indonesian shipbuilder PT Batamet. The new LPDs have been under public tender since 2019, but has encountered several bidding failures due to a variety of reasons. According to the technical requirements released by the Department of National Defense DND, the LPDs are at least 120 meters long, has a maximum speed of at least 16 knots, a maximum displacement of at least 7,200 tons, powered by two diesel engines and has a maximum range of at least 9,000 nautical miles, and has a helicopter landing deck capacity for at least two 10-ton naval helicopters, and a hangar for one 10-ton helicopter. The Philippine Navy currently has two Tarlac-class LPDs operational and were also built by Point Pal, although it has expressed to acquire more LPDs to replace World War II-era landing ship tanks LST, that are scheduled for decommissioning soon. PT PAL previously released a design that it has offered to the Philippine Navy, which is 123 meters long and is said to be an improved version of the Tarlac class. The Tarlac class are landing platform docks of the Philippine Navy meant for amphibious operations and transport duties in support of the armed forces of the Philippines. The class was initially called the Strategic Sea Lift Vessel before being formally named. The ships will also double as a support platform for Humanitarian and Disaster Relief HADR, and Search and Rescue SAR, operations. Two ships were constructed by the Point PAL Indonesia based on the Indonesian Navy's Makassar class.